Sympathomimetic drugs, also known as adrenergic drugs and adrenergic amines, are stimulant compounds which mimic the effects of endogenous agonists of the sympathetic nervous system. The primary endogenous agonists of the sympathetic nervous system are the catecholamines i.e., epinephrine adrenaline, norepinephrine noradrenaline, and dopamine, which function as both neurotransmitters and hormones. Sympathomimetic drugs are used to treat cardiac arrest and low blood pressure, or even delay premature labor, among other things. These drugs can act through several mechanisms, such as directly activating postsynaptic receptors, blocking breakdown and reuptake of certain neurotransmitters, or stimulating production and release of catecholamines. Mechanisms of action the mechanisms of sympathomimetic drugs can be direct acting, direct interaction between drug and receptor, such as alpha-adrenergic agonists, beta-adrenergic agonists, and dopaminergic agonists, or indirect acting, interaction not between drug and receptor, such as MAOIs, COMT inhibitors, release stimulants, and reuptake inhibitors that increase the levels of endogenous catecholamines. Structure-activity relationship for maximum sympathomimetic activity, a drug must have amine group 2 carbons away from an aromatic group, a hydroxyl group at the chiral beta position in the R configuration, hydroxyl groups in the meta and para position of the aromatic ring to form a catechol which is essential for receptor binding the structure can be modified to alter binding. If the amine is primary or secondary, it will have direct action, but if the amine is tertiary, it will have poor direct action. Also, if the amine has bulky substituents, then it will have greater beta-adrenergic receptor activity, but if the substituent is not bulky, then it will favor the alpha-adrenergic receptors. Direct acting Adrenergic receptor agonists Direct stimulation of the alpha and beta adrenergic receptors can produce sympathomimetic effects. Salbutamol is a widely used direct acting beta 2 agonist. Other examples include phenylephrine, isoproteranol, and dobutamine. Dopaminergic agonists Stimulation of the D1 receptor by dopaminergic agonists such as phenaldopam is used intravenously to treat hypertensive crisis. Indirect acting Dopaminergic stimulants such as amphetamine, ephedrine, and propyl hexadrine work by causing the release of dopamine and norepinephrine, along with, in some cases, blocking the reuptake of these neurotransmitters. Structure-activity relationship a primary or secondary aliphatic amine separated by two carbons from a substituted benzene ring is minimally required for high agonist activity. The pKa of the amine is approximately 8.5 to 10. The presence of hydroxy group in the benzene ring at third and fourth position shows maximum alpha and beta adrenergic activity. Cross reactivity Substances such as cocaine also affect dopamine, and some substances such as MDMA affect serotonin. Norepinephrine is synthesized by the body from the amino acid tyrosine, and is used in the synthesis of epinephrine, which is a stimulating neurotransmitter of the central nervous system. Thus, all sympathomimetic amines fall into the larger group of stimulants see psychoactive drug chart. In addition to intended therapeutic use, many of these stimulants have abuse potential, can induce tolerance, and possibly physical dependence, although not by the same mechanisms as opioids or sedatives. The symptoms of physical withdrawal from stimulants can include fatigue, dysphoric mood, increased appetite, vivid or lucid dreams, hypersomnia or insomnia, increased movement or decreased movement, anxiety, and drug craving, as is apparent in the rebound withdrawal from certain substituted amphetamines. Physical withdrawal from some sedatives can be potentially lethal, for instance benzodiazepine withdrawal syndrome. Opioid withdrawal is very uncomfortable, often described as a bad case of the flu, with possibly severe abdominal cramps and diarrhea as central symptoms, but it is rarely lethal unless the user has a comorbid condition. Comparison Parasympatholytic and sympathomimetic 
have similar effects, but through completely different pathways. For example, both cause mydriasis, but parasympatholytics reduce accommodation cycloplegia, while sympathomimetics do not. Examples Amphetamine, benzedrine, speed Benzylpipirazine, BZP Cathine found in Katha edulis Cathinone, found in Katha edulis, cot Cocaine, found in erythroxylum coca, coca Ephedrine, found in ephedra Listexamphetamine, vivance Meprotoline, luteamyl MDMA, ecstasy, molly Methamphetamine, meth, crank, d Methcathin-1 Methylenedioxypyrovalor-1, MDPV Methylphenidate, Ritalin 4-methylaminorex Oxymetazoline, Afrin, Vix Sinex Pemoline, Silert Phenmetrazine, Proludin Propylhexadrine, Benzadrex Pseudoephedrine, Pseudophed, Pseudogest, also found in ephedra species See also Sympathetic nervous system Sympatholytic References External links Amines, plus sympathomimetic at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings, MESH